Good evening students. Yesterday we have discussed the uh, question papers of 2011 and 2010. Today we will be discussing the question paper of 2009. Uh, starting with the question paper, question 1. List out the essential features for designing the linen room for a 5 star hotel. So here what are the points to be kept in mind while designing the linen room in a 5 star hotel. So the point by point we have to list down the various points to be kept in mind while, while you are setting up the linen room. It should be in the basement, very adjacent to the laundry so that the transportation of linen would be easy. All these points we have discussed in the theory class so those points should be listed out. Or there is an internal choice. Explain the various activities performed by the linen room. Please do not get confused between the first question and the second one. The first question says essential features for designing the linen room. And the second option is asked various activities performed by the linen room. That means the functions performed by the linen room. So that also as I always been kept on telling you don't write the answer in paragraphs. List out the functions in the points form. Question 2. Explain the functions of laundry department with any five laundry equipment used in the hotels. So how we have listed out the functions of the linen room, similarly the functions of the laundry department in a five star hotel. What are the functions, activities, so the wordings may be the different but more or less the answer is the same. So don't stop with the laundry functions, list out the laundry equipments as well. They have asked you five basic laundry equipments used in the five star laundry or explain the various stages involved in the wash cycle. So yesterday's question paper also we have talked about wash cycle includes the stages which are involved in the washing process in the washing machine. So for flush, suds, so all these points should be highlighted with an explanation of three to four lines each. Coming to the third question, explain the advantages and disadvantages of the following. So what I suggest on premise laundry and the contract laundry. So list out the advantages of on-premise and the advantages of commercial. Similarly, the disadvantages of both. So write it in two um, sections and write off the advantages and disadvantages, advantages and advantages of commercial. Or if you are not comfortable uh, with this question, then you have also an internal choice. Classify the stains. What are the different types of stains? Give proper cleaning agents for the following. Just give the definition of what is a stain, how is it removed and then what are the different types of stains and come to the second part of the question because it's 10 marks question. Blue ink. As I told you yesterday, um, though they have asked us only to write the cleaning agent, I suggest personally to write a brief work card for all these 5 stains. Blue ink, surgical spirit, lipstick, surgical spirit again. Tea, borax powder in a diluted form, nail polish, acetone, blood, acetic acid. So these are the cleaning agents for the stains. Coming to the fourth question, draw the formats of any two of the following and explain its importance. Please read the question properly. Draw the formats of any two of the following and explain its importance. Room linen inventory form. So go to each room, supposing example 101. How many bed sheets, is it a double room or a single room? How many bed sheets are used in used on the bed and how many types of bath linen is used in the bathroom? So take an inventory of each type of linen used in the room. That becomes your linen inventory form. So depict that in the form of a nice format and then the grand total of the total linen is counted and that becomes your linen inventory form. Second one is lost and found slip. We have been doing that in the first year also. Lost and found slip when the guest leaves the items that becomes our lost and found and how do you maintain a format for that and what is the procedure. Explain its importance. Do not forget to explain the importance of the lost and found and the room linen inventory form. Just don't draw the formats and leave it like that. You have to explain why are we doing this. Coming to the third one, valet call book register. When the guest calls the laundry department for a laundry pickup, where is it entered? That is called as valet call book register. So room number, what time the laundry has a laundry call has come from the guest, who has gone to collect the laundry is the is called as valet call book register where all these de details are entered. So out of these three, I suggest you all, whichever you are comfortable, 
Draw any two formats and explain their importance. Coming to the fifth question, draw a neat sketch of any five types of flower arrangement with various equipments used. Types of arrangement, we have different shapes, I have, I have just listed five types. There are many more, S-shaped is also called as Hogarth, triangular arrangement, all round arrangement which are placed in the lobbies, bud verses in the restaurant tables and banquet arrangements and uh, with various equipments used. So what are the various equipments used in flower arrangements also should be listed down. So that gives you 10 marks. Coming to question 6, explain the following terms, there is no choice in this, linen shoot, Power stock, tumble dryer, focal point, monogramming. Linen shoot is a dryer, is the tunnel which carries the soil linen from the various floor pantries to the laundry directly. Power stock, the minimum amount of linen required for smooth operations of the department. Tumble dryer is the dryer which helps in drying of the clothes. And focal point, it is one of the uh, principles of flower arrangement where the center flower of the arrangement will be called as a focal point because based on that the entire arrangement is done. Monogramming, the hotel symbol which is embossed on the towels and the linen is called as monogramming. So that will give you 5 twos or 10 marks. Seventh question, explain the functions and equipments used in the sewing room. This is very simple question again. Functions and equipments, try to divide them equally used in the sewing room. Functions, why is sewing room important and what are the equipments used by the seamstress? Coming to the 8th question, list down the importance of providing uniforms to the staff. Why should the uniforms be given to the staff? To differentiate between the staff and the guest, to maintain the brand image of the hotel and also to maintain the dignity and to become more formal in the working atmosphere. All these points to be listed out. And uh, the second part of it, the procedures followed in uniform distribution and control. So what procedure do you follow while giving uniforms to your staff? There is a particular format where you take the signature of this uh, employee that he has been issued three sets of uniform, four sets of uniform, with issue date, what is his designation and his signature. So the employee is whole and soul authorized to be wearing that uniform and at the time of resignation he is supposed to give us back the uniforms. Question number 9, explain the importance of conducting physical inventories and question B, explain the procedures followed for physical inventories, both related to physical inventory. What is physical inventory? The physical check of the linen of the uniforms and the linen used in the hotel is called as physical inventory. Once in every month, the physical inventory has to be done. So question the A part is asking why is it should be done? What is the importance? Why should we do that? And the second part is procedures followed. So it's based on certain formats. So the formats will help us to give a, uh, will help us to explain about the procedure followed. Question 10, the last question objectives. Dash is the equipment which cleans the floors, carpets and furniture. It is vacuum cleaner. Second one, dash is the signs of gardens and flowers, horticulture. Dash stains caused by liquids which fail to penetrate the fabric and lie on the surface, mineral stains. The process of removing stains is called stain removal or spotting. Dash means arranging the flowers according to size and color. It is scale and proportion. Dash are the staff who are responsible for cleaning of guest toilets in public areas. Cloakroom attendants. We call the public area, toilet, public area toilets as cloakrooms and the one who is cleaning the the public area toilets is called cloakroom attendant. Dash of the staff, uh, sorry, Dash is a main communication center of housekeeping department. The nerve center always remains the same. It is control desk. Floor exclusively for women is called EVA floor. E-V-A, EVA floor. Fire due to electrical equipment will come under Dash class. That is, according to British side, it is E class. So, thank you. We are done with 2009 paper. We will solve one more question paper tomorrow. Thank you.